Good morning everybody. Uh, you're going to have to <clears throat> excuse my croaky voice today because I've had, um, yeah, a bit of, well, I think it's more flu than a cold because I've ached from tip to toe but really missed coming out into my art room so I'm going to just do hopefully a um, quick video my fix and then go and have another lay down because that's what I probably need um, and I can do so I'm very lucky that I can go and have a lay down if you don't feel so good. Um, probably good that I'm not going to talk so much today but I just um, I'm going to do another pour with the poster paints um, and it's basically a test to see if the poster paints I did a pour um, was the uh, a dip and it turned out just beautiful and today I'm going to do I'm going to see if the poster paints will swipe nicely and what kind of cells they'll um, form so it is a test to see if the poster paints which is a very budget friendly way for um, many to do this art because it can get very expensive with the costs of paints and pouring mediums and so forth. This is my lovely little friend that I've had for a while and I like him but these colours inspired me because the poster paints were I've got the purple and the turquoise and green and red and a yellowy orange so he has inspired me today my cute little lizard to do these colours so um, I'll put my pouring medium um, recipe in the drop down box under there so I'm not going to go through that and yeah they're just the um, Montmartre poster paints which are really bright and vibrant and I've always had good results but they are basically for budget conscious and people that are learning can try all the different techniques without the use of expensive paints and having to scrape off expensive paint <coughs> so uh, if you're in Australia, my Australian online supplier that I get all my supplies from is in the drop down box at the bottom of my video. Now this is my crudely made Swifty Swipe tool and somebody's asked me how to make it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you a quick demo. All I did was get a piece of uh, soft plastic file divider in the one corner and I just did an arch I didn't you could probably get one of those tools where you can do a perfect arch but that's it so I just cut a piece like that um, that that one I just used my PVA glue and I glued it to the old spatula uh, the previous one I made before I just did this which was put the piece of um, plastic down and my this was how crudely I made it <laughs> and then I just taped the spatula to the top so yeah I'm coming up with somebody who can actually make one of these for us so I believe if they made them for us we'd um, all use it's it's been such a really good tool actually because you're kind of more in control and you can um, so that is how cheaply, quickly, my Swifty Swipe tool. You don't put anything on the bottom that needs to stay with the plastic so you can swipe. So that is how quick and easy the Swifty Swipe tool is to make. And you can do different, shape, <coughs> different shaped heads. You can cut it off straight so you've got the straight line. This was really good doing a spiral pour because it sort of... Yeah, it worked really well. Very crudely made, I know. Um, I got told off in one video because I said, I'll get my husband to make. She reckoned I'd put women's rights back 50 years. Oh my God. Some people, I ask her, put women's rights back. Because I said, I, I asked, I said, I'm going to get my husband because he can weld something together. 
And so could I. Yes, I'm a woman. I can weld, but I choose not to. God blimey. The things. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not too good, so I won't put up with shit today. But anyway. <laughs> um. Next thing. We'll get on with my paw. Um. So I'm going to do those colours as described to you. And I'm doing it with the poster paint, so it's interesting because I don't think I've actually done a swipe in the poster paints. I think um, so. It'll be interesting to see what they turn out uh, like. So here we go. I'll just tell you the colours as we go along. I'm going to do the colours in uh, bands, which I don't, you know, bands across which I don't normally do. I think I don't, did on a recent my birds of a feather one. So I might put this, this is the red one. It actually looks quite thick. I might have to thin this down a bit. We'll see. I probably could thin this or I could use the spatula to spread it out a little bit more, but that's okay. So that was the red in the poster paint. This is the lovely bright yellow and the flies appear as soon as I get my paints out. It's unbelievable but true. <laughs> just get rid of this. It's okay, I can just spread that a bit with the spatula. I'm not that fussy that that bothers me, especially not today. Um, the beautiful orange, orange, orange. Yeah, it's quite funny the things you learn by actually putting yourself out there and being doing a YouTube channel. The really, the really stupid comes out in people things that they have to say to you like you really think oh my god it's a really a per such a person that says can say stupid cruel things but obviously there are so stupid 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 okay that was the bright yellow this is the green He's been working hard doing his car, our carport for her. I'll try and put some photos on at the beginning or the end of this video so you can see his creation. He's also almost finished his um, hovercraft. And our boys, two of our boys yesterday came up and helped him paint the outside of the, the shell of the craft. So I will show you the photos of those. Um, a bit of oh forgot my beautiful turquoise it's all good all good good filling gaps so yeah this like chakra is it chakra can't say chakra, chokra, chakra colours. Ah, it's a fluey thing, not good. All right, I'm going to put a bit of the purple in there to remind me of my gorgeous lizard. So yeah, these were paints that I did make up a couple of days ago. Well, before I got sick, I think it was probably four days ago now. Um, you are still seeing videos while I've been sick because I normally make four or five videos in a white one day while I've got all the paints made up and then obviously I just post one a day but if I come back out and start painting then I like I've still been um, filming but I haven't filmed for the last four days while I've been sick 
so this is my first one and hopefully you'll probably see this video when I'm well <laughs> Alright, we'll keep it at that. I have got a, a navy to go in there, but I think I've got probably more than enough. So I'm just going to tilt this slightly. I'm sorry if you can't hear me, my normally loud voice, but you might have to put a speaker on your device. Some, some people said that they can't always hear me. And I think that's different devices because I can hear on my iPad and my iPhone, but I can't hear so well on my desktop. So I just put attach the speaker to it and put the speaker th uh, thing in your ear and listen to if you need to. I always had to play videos that I was watching and still do sometimes on mute because I'd be sitting in the lounge room with my husband and of course he was watching the TV and didn't for some reason didn't want to watch all the paint pouring videos I was watching of other artists more particular when I first started um, so I used to have to watch them on mute but what I found is it actually was good because I could see what the people were doing but then it was my own take on um, trying to do that style or that particular pour okay so that's pretty good it's all covered nicely so I said before in one of my videos I don't usually use white or black to swipe or which I don't um, because I'll always change the white by putting a bit of gold in it and I never swipe in black I swipe in the really dark navy which may look black but today I'm actually going to swipe in white I'm trying to think of the girl, um, Olga, that swiped in the um, colours in some paint. So it, um, and hers with the white swipe looked gorgeous. So, Olga, uh, thank you for the inspiration. So I'm going to try and um, yeah see if I come up with the similar results. Like, see, I never like to leave my end where I'm going to do the swipe um, bare I like to have colour under it I don't like to just have it a band but that's just all personal oh god I'm going all over the shop here that's my personal choice I'm flipping <laughs> I've got paint everywhere okay <laughs> I think I better give up and <laughs> move on <laughs> Okay, just clearing an area so I can swipe down. I could just turn it around, I suppose. It would probably be, yeah, that may be the easiest. I'm just going to turn this around this way. I'm going to swipe down. So I'll get my plastic file divider is what I will swipe with. Plastic file divider. So I know... Um, seen most of the other artists will swipe with a wet paper towel and other I just find this is um, environmentally friendly in that you can just keep and keep on and on and on using it oh I was gonna swipe in my Swifty swipe wasn't I okay I'll start with a Swifty swipe obviously is the same until I probably need I probably should use the new version I just did <laughs> Um, I'll try it in the Swifty Swipe so I will just start from the middle because then I'll do two side so remembering that this is the Montmartre um, poster paint that I wanted to do the test to see if the poster paint came out with similar results as um, acrylics obviously it's like quarter of the cost than buying acrylic paints so it's a very um, budget friendly not sure that I okay interesting 
just hoping the paints don't go muddy for, for whatever reason. Ugh, I'm, I'm going all over the place today. I'm not, not, my mojo is lost. And my nose is running. <laughs> so, okay, that's made completely different cells than it would if I use acrylic paint and and remember this was mixed with the um, I did a, a PVA 70-30 mix of the PVA 70-30 70% PVA glue 30% water I mixed up in a jug anyway the recipe will be on the bottom get my little just give it a wave and see how we do with my butane torch but you don't have to use that butane torch because then you probably shouldn't until you really feel confident with a torch um, that cells are completely different than I get with the um, acrylic paint and uh, if I mix with um, Elmer's glue and water so that is interesting now I probably should go away and leave it and see how it develops and then I'll come back and show you how it's developed so I think I'll um, just yep yeah, I'll be back let it develop and then I will try and do may try and do some balloon rolls or whatever and see how the balloon rolls actually work with the poster paint that will be interesting but as you see completely different look it hasn't really allowed the colors to jump through yet but I'm gonna leave it to develop and uh, come back and see how we go okay I'm back to see if I can do any balloon kisses and rolls on this piece it hasn't really changed much they're kind of like I mean it looks more like a shower pour um, I did do one balloon roll before I left it but as you can see it was too wet but I can see already the sides are dry I've probably left it for about an hour so I'm just hoping that I haven't left it too long um, I will try and roll it with the big balloon but I'm also going to try to do a few this is the a water a water filled balloon I just filled that much with water to see uh, what kind of um, action we'll get so that's water filled balloon so I'll just start it off with that so you, you see they give it gives like delicate little flower effects so that might be nice to use as I've seen in the white but I can see this paint obviously dries a lot quicker than um, the acrylics dry or it, it is actually quite a warm day here it's about um, 27 20 oh no actually uh, they said it was going to reach 31 so we're probably on about that temperature so I'll just try these nice little balloon kisses down the bottom okay it's quite pretty doing the small balloon oh okay it's still a bit wet further up it's it's obviously drying around the perimeter quickly but not so much in the center but those are quite nice little balloon kisses now I'm thinking dare I try a balloon roll let's give it a go got to give got to try if it doesn't work it's just paint okay here goes so I'll do a balloon roll in like an S to do something big and bold there you go <laughs> that's quite Ooh, like an S shape
you know for being poster pain that's really quite nice effect you can see there's still some cells popping up still the nice wisp effects kind of looks like a bushy tail on the end it's still a nice effect though so yeah look at all the options that you've got with these pores you just do so much well that didn't work so nice because i can feel already the paints a bit thick and tacky so it's it's dried a bit too much there you know to actually do balloon work with it but try the smaller one see if uh, I might dip it in some paint there then add a bit there doesn't really make a lot of difference to that but just do some small balloon kisses down the bottom so yeah this water filled balloon I've had for about three weeks now I thought it would burst on me while I was doing something with the with a painting but it hasn't because if it did obviously it would make a bit I've done it before it's made a big mess all over my painting it's quite nice having a bit of leaving a bit of that uh, lacing through there because that is really quite nice lacing so for a really budget conscious piece of art done with the poster paints which are really bright and vibrant <clears throat> and I have like done poster paints over 18 months ago and they're really just still bright and vibrant so for a budget conscious alternative doing a bit of art if it's around your own home um, it's lovely it's quite nice no no um can't really fault it it's, uh, it's giving me kind of the same effects or similarly it's given me a different effect than it would be if I did in acrylics and a different pouring medium but then it's still pretty it's still very nice I'm not going to do any more to that believe me believe me <laughs> I think I'm gonna just leave it <coughs> uh, leave it at that go and have another honey and lemon drink I think try and soothe my throat Oh, I'll give you a bit of a closer. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Very pretty. Probably. Look at that. Let's give some good effects. It's really nice. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing. But um, really, really happy that you've given me. 99% positive feedback and enjoying my channel and um, hope that you're learning something and enjoy my art journey enjoy your own too until next time bye for now